Unity's new input system can be confusing, but in this fast 10 minute tutorial, I'll show you how to set it up the beginner friendly way using Unity events. No advanced coding needed. All right, let's dive in. We'll confirm the input system is enabled, create an input map, wire it to a player script, and test the movement in the editor. We'll start by creating a new Unity project. Select new from the Unity Hub, name your project, give it a directory, disconnect it from cloud, make sure Universal 3D is selected. Hit create project. First thing we're gonna do is confirm that we have Unity's new input system enabled. Go to edit, project settings, player. Scroll down until you see active input handling. It can be either set to input system package new, or both. Close this window. Next, we're going to create an input action asset. Unity comes with an input system actions asset. We're going to create our own. So let's delete this one. Right click on assets, go to create, select input actions. Name this asset player controls. Double click to open it. Create a new action map. Call it game play. Add a new action. Rename the current action that's already there. Call it move. Add a new action by clicking on the plus to the right of actions. Call that jump. Select move. Make sure its action type is set to value. Control type vector 2. Select the no binding which is created by default. Under path, click that. Go to gamepad and left stick. To the right of move, add a new binding. We'll add up, down, left, right, composite. Rename this WASD. Expand this. Click on up. Select path. Type W. Select W keyboard. For down, hit S. Select S keyboard. Left, A, A keyboard. Right, D, D keyboard. Save asset. Go to jump. Expand that. Select no binding. Under path, you can either hit the listen button or type in the word space. I'll hit listen. Hit the space bar and select that. I'm going to add a new jump binding. Under path, I will use my controller and hit the listen button and hit the A key on my Xbox controller or the south gamepad key. You can use any type of controller as long as it's plugged into your computer. Hit save asset. Close the player controls. We're going to create a ground object. Go to your hierarchy, right click, select 3D object, plane, call this ground. We'll scale it five on the X and five on the Z. We're gonna add a new object by right clicking in the hierarchy, going to 3D object and select capsule. We'll move the capsule up to one unit on the Y and we'll call this capsule player. We will add the character controller component to the player. Create a new script by going to your project window, right clicking on assets, and create mono behavior script. We'll call this player controller. We'll double click on player controller to open it. In player controller, we will add a new using reference at the top using unity engine dot input system semicolon. Then we will add new properties to our class. First property will be a serialized field private float speed equals five and an F to the five. Another serialized field private float jump height. We will set that to two. Another serialized field private float gravity. We will set that to negative 9.8. Next, we'll add private properties. Private character controller, we'll call it controller. Private vector three move input. Private vector three velocity. In start, we will get a reference to our character controller. Controller equals get component character controller. Next, we'll create on move to handle movement input. Public void on move hit escape so it doesn't autocomplete input action dot callback context context move input equals context dot read value vector two debug dot log move input colon braces move input. This will output the input into our console so we can verify it's working. Let's save and test. Set up the player with the input system. Select your player, add your player controller script to your player. Then we will add a player input component. Expand player input component and drag in player controls to the action slot. Change behavior to 
invoke unity events, expand the events section, expand gameplay section, hit plus on move callback context, drag the player controller component into the none slot, select the drop down no function, go to player controller, select on move, control s to save, highlight your console window, hit clear if anything is visible there, hit play, select the game window and hit WASD to verify there is console output. If you have a gamepad, move your left joystick to verify output. Everything works properly. Next, let's add jump logic. Double click on your player controller script. Add the following method. Public void on jump. Hit escape so it doesn't autocomplete. Input action callback context context. Debug dot log dollar sign quotes jumping open brace context dot performed close brace dash is grounded colon open brace controller dot is grounded close brace if context dot performed and controller dot is grounded debug dot log we are supposed to jump save this let's go back to unity select the player under the player input component expand events expand gameplay under jump callback context hit plus drag in your player controller go to no function drop down player controller on jump press play hit spacebar jumping false is grounded false Go back to player controller. In on jump, set velocity dot y equal to math f dot square sqrt square root open parens jump height times negative two float or f times gravity. Go to update. Type in velocity dot y plus equals gravity times time dot delta time controller dot move velocity times time dot delta time the unity to test press play spacebar a on controller jumping works go back to player controller script in update add the following vector three move equals new vector three move input dot x comma zero comma move input dot y controller dot move move times speed times time dot delta time control s to save go back to unity to test hit play a d w s test with spacebar still spacebar and movement use gamepad everything works create a material right click in project assets Create, select material, select ground, select base map, default checker pattern, tiling set to 10 by 10. Drag ground onto ground plane. Right click on assets, create a new material, call it player. Set it to blue, drag it onto the player. Now you have a working controller and player input in Unity 6. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Hit like and subscribe to get notified when more like it come out. Look in the description for a link to download this project and leave me comments with any tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Also, I'm building a Unity beginner course that will teach you everything you need to know to publish your own games. Look for a link below to sign up and get notified when it's out. Thanks for watching.